Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Season 9. I hope you guys are all having an amazing morning and afternoon so far. And I hope you're ready to complete some challenges because today in Season 9, we have to complete the Week 1 challenges. Now, as you can see, I have basically completed all of them myself. So I'm going to take you through a video tutorial on how to do every single one of these challenges. And yeah, I think that, that we should just get right into it. There's a lot of really cool new features in Season 9, and I think you guys are going to love that. Just I want to take a little bit of time to pay respects to the pump because the pump did get vaulted, sadly. But we did get a new shotgun. Some people are going to love it. Some people aren't. We'll see how the uh, community responds to all of that. But let us jump into this first challenge. We had to ride the slipstream inside of Neo Neo Towers, I believe it's called. And then you got to ride this the slipstream inside of or around the Mega Mall. So these are going to be awesome challenges. They are all super, super fun to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. Uh, you can also see timestamps of all of the individual challenges in the description below. So if you want to do that, then you can definitely do so. But other than that, let's get right into this video. So nothing looks too different. <laughs> but tilted. Oh my goodness. We got to go through some stream something. I think these are them. Let's tr let's try and go through these. Let's see what, what this is all about here. Okay. Oh. Okay, so that was the challenge. <laughs> you just got to enter one of these. But this is nuts. Go inside of the sip. Slip. Sip, slip. Stream <laughs> inside of Tilted. I am just so mesmerized by this. This is crazy. Tilted looks awesome. Tilted definitely needed a rework, I think. This was definitely something that Tilted needed. But yeah, let's head on over to our next challenge, everyone. But yeah, there is a stream around the Mega Mall here. Just gotta go into it and start riding it. And we'll see what this Mega Mall is all about. This area is super, super cool. I would definitely recommend that you guys uh, check out all of these brand new places. Because uh, it's pretty awesome. But, that's a new shotgun. No. No. That's mean. Oh. Nice guy. Nice guy. Nice guy? No, not a nice guy. <laughs> Let's head on over to the next challenge. All right, so for this next challenge, you do have to visit seven sky platforms. And I'm going to land at one of them. And uh, up on the screen right now, just before we land, is where all of the seven sky platforms are. But I'm going to land on one of them just to show you guys what exactly it looks like. And you can kind of already see the outline right now of what it looks like. And uh, yeah, it's got some streams leading down to the ground so that you can very easily uh, either go up to it or uh, go down onto the ground if you want to do that. But it, it has some nice little loot on it too, which is really cool. But yeah, this is what a sky platform looks like. Here are the seven once again if you want to take a screenshot. And uh, yeah, let's head on over to the next challenge. All right, so for this next challenge, you do have to deal damage to opponents within 10 seconds after using a shadow bomb. So this is what the shadow bomb obviously looks like. This is what it looks like on the ground. And uh, yeah, so you gotta like use it and then deal damage to opponents um, after 10 seconds within using it. So let's see if we can actually do this challenge. And uh, yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's get done. So I usually never really like doing this um, unless I just totally forget to record and that's just on, on, on me, but uh, yeah, in this match, I end up uh, dealing damage to opponents using the Shadow Bomb, and here it is right here. So, it's very, very basic. Use the Shadow Bomb, and then just deal damage however possible. That's why I'm not really... <laughs> I don't want to say that I'm not trying, because I am trying. But this is why I'm kind of just effortlessly trying to get damage out. Because I believe, yeah, this dude ends up building up, and he's just kind of a little bit confused. So, I deal a little bit of damage, I believe right there I deal a little bit of damage, I believe right here at some point I deal damage, I'm just dealing damage all over. But these are all counting. Yeah, that's that challenge completed. Let's head on over to the next one. Alright, so for this next challenge, you do have to get a legendary item, uh, f at least five of them. So, let's see if this has a legendary item in it, and it does. So that's our second legendary item, I already got one. 
earlier in a previous match. But yeah, you just gotta go. Maybe I think the best uh, way to do that is to go to one of those uh, loot drops and find it like that. Or if you just want to go inside of like a house or something and then try and find it inside of a chest. So that's the best way to find a legendary item in this game. So let's head on over to the next challenge. All right, so for this next challenge, you do have to search chests in Loot Lake and Lucky Landing. I believe it's seven chests in total. So this is the only time people will actually go to Lucky Landing. Um, <laughs> but yeah, of course, you gotta go search chests. Uh, if, you, if you guys need some references, then here are the chests in Loot Lake as well as the chests in Lucky Landing. So use those as ref reference points when you are searching for these seven chests. Good luck, everyone. Let's head on over to the next challenge. Okay, so for this second to last challenge, you do have to get three eliminations with a scoped weapon. We'll see if we can try and do that here in this game, and I will uh, show you the footage once I get it. So what I would 100% recommend for these next two challenges is that you go into Team Rumble, and you maybe go with a friend. Um, definitely, it's, it's much, much easier to land on top of a tree and start dealing damage to someone, and then start racking up your uh your three stages um the three different stages of that of that challenge as well you can find a scope assault rifle really anywhere on the map and then immediately uh go into the the team rumble circle and start just uh lasering people and hopefully try and get a couple of eliminations just like that that's how i did it so i would definitely recommend that you guys do that as well if you you know if you just want to get these done asap but if you you know if you want to take your time then definitely you know, just go back into solos and uh, just, just you know, play and hopefully try and complete the challenges as you go. I'm telling you, they're all butts in here. Ah. <laughs> one, one out of three. Do you mind lending me that for like a couple of minutes, seconds? I got another scope to him. Hold on. I'm on my way. I'm getting it, dude. I'm getting it. Ah, there we go. Third Slipper limb. There we go. All right, and now for our last challenge. It's a three-part challenge, and I already did a little bit of it in-game, but you basically have to deal damage to opponents when you are two stories above them, and then I'm guessing eventually it's going to get higher and higher and higher to the point where uh, you, you're going to have to you're gonna have to really uh, train your aim here. But, yeah, this is going to be a fun challenge to complete, so let's just see if we can do it. All right, so that was deal damage <laughs> to opponents from above. Pretty sure there's going to be a couple more stages to that. But yeah, let's head on over to the second part of this three-part challenge. You got to jump on the thing. There you go. Nice. Maybe that was four. I hope. Yeah, it's yeah that was definitely four. <laughs> that was definitely four. The sixth one is going to be difficult. Yeah. Another 26. Another 26. Six stories completed. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. As usual, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the sub button and click that bell to get notifications. And if you like the video, be sure to show it to your friends, family, church group, dog, or other loved ones we did not mention. From over here at Fortnite Master, my name is The Saved One. We love you guys and have a great rest of your day. Peace.